So this wild idea hit me. I was like, why don't I go shopping for cat toys on Amazon? More, it was like morbid curiosity. What happens if I type in the word cat toy on Amazon? What comes up? I figure I'll order some. Some of it, by the way, straight up horrifying. And uh, show you what I got and review them. And maybe even have a cat review them. Now right, let's do that. Oh yeah, I gotta have this. <laughs> what even is that? Well, there's one we didn't get. All right, I'll take that. All right. Oh wait, I gotta have, well that is way too expensive. What are they, crazy? Oh yeah, that's about as much as I'll spend. And uh, there we go. So now I just gotta wait for Amazon to do its thing and then I'll tell you what I think. Is that Amazon? Oh, look at that. It's here. Now these are some of the top selling toys in all of Amazon land, so let's uh, Actually, when you think about it, this should be the top selling toy on Amazon. <laughs> okay, so let's go for the first one here. I'm kind of excited. So um, our first one here are the Podoroma Catnip Toy Balls, four piece extra cat energy ball, edible kitten silver vine toys for cat lick, healthy kitty teeth, cleaning dental chew toys, cat wall treats green. Or as the box just says, magic cat balls. <laughs> Isn't that really what all cat balls are? You know, because life springs from them. Okay, let's just stop there. So, the magic cat balls have in them gall fruit. The hell is gall fruit? Gall fruit, the most potent form, is a result of flies laying eggs in the silver vine fruit. The fly eggs and larvae cause the fruit to form galls or lumps with a higher concentration of the active compounds. Yeah. And there it is. So I guess what you do with this, stick it to the wall and your cat should walk up and lick and bite it. What I like about this toy is that but by putting it on the wall, you're creating a signpost of sorts. So your cat walks by it, chomp on it, chew it, leave their saliva on it, scent marking 101. And so for any other cat that walks through the house, we have scent identification, uh, an opportunity for, for group scent marking. And in terms of those transitional spaces like hallways, for instance, it just allows for a sense of ownership a signpost and that's great but i gotta say i just saw this part ingredients catnip silver vine gall fruit sticky rice etc the fact that they actually put etc on the ingredients bothers me anyway now all we have to do is allow our test cat to test it so casper you're up oh you already smell this Ooh, okay here we go hey bud What an amazing product tester this boy is. Okay, so that alone, just cheek marking it, is fantastic. And remember, this is probably gonna be mounted on a wall. I'm gonna hold it still for now. Good boy, Cass. All right, the next one up here. Great company, great guys, and also the omnipresent Yao Banana. I, I don't know why it is. I mean, Yao makes a whole bunch of different catnip uh, toys and they're all I think great the catnip in it is really high quality and the sort of canvas on it is breathable enough that even as the catnip is kind of dying a little bit it's still potent and I don't know man I see these bananas all over like when you guys send in videos of your cats there's always like a yao banana off to the side somewhere and so I love these we actually do sell these on the Jackson Galaxy store and I'm just glad to have them now again not all cats are going to respond to catnip so don't buy any catnip toy assuming that your cat's going to dig it um, because your cat may be completely immune to catnip. Yao Banana, never all that expensive and a great stocking stuffer if that's the time of year. All right, that's the Yao. Casper. Oh yeah. It is the Yao Banana. All right then, moving on, our next top seller is the Cat Stages Tower of Tracks. Uh, you got the balls here that go around. If you wanna know what my review is on this, I think you look no further than the expression of the cat on the cover here. Can you see that? Look at his expression. He's like, eh, I mean, whatever. Listen, these things are fine. And as I'm going to say many times during these reviews, any investment that you make in your cats, uh, you know, in terms of stimulating them and having them play with things, as long as it's not dangerous for them, invest in it. I applaud you for doing it. Kittens love this stuff. For a grown cat, 
this gets boring awfully quick. So I would recommend this. If your cats do like it, put it out and then take it away. Put it back down a week or two later, something like that, um, because it really is not all that. It's not like it's, they're gonna master it pretty quickly. Let's just put it that way. Anyway, this is the Cat Stages Tower of Tracks. Casper, verdict? Ready? All right, let's see what kind of cat you are. He's watching, he's watching. <laughs> he's like, I think I wanna play with the fuzz on the carpet. Probably shouldn't have given him the catnip first. All right, let's keep on going here. Um, we are now on to this right here. It's a box of fun. This is from Fashions Talk. Mouse Cat Toys Mixed Bag 27 Assorted Mice Toys for Cats, Kitten, Catnip, Feather Furry, Rattle Plush, Interactive Kitty Toys. There's plenty of these variety packs. So when we say this is in the top 10 of cat toys on Amazon, it could be this one or many others. So far we've got mice. Are these all mice? We've got mice with that? Is that a mouse or a goldfish? That's a mouse. I mean, having these mice around the house, nothing wrong with that, man. Cats can bite, bite it. Cats, well, to that end, I do want you to be aware of certain things that I find to be a little egregious when it comes to these types of things. And listen, when you're buying 27 of these little guys for, what is it? 1339, you're gonna get this kind of quality. So I'm going to make the assumption that it's gonna have some problems. Um, I'm not a fan of your cats being ha having access to toys at all times where something like this is the norm. So we have this sort of feather tail thing. Now I'm, I'm guessing, but let me try it. Yeah, there it goes. So your cat bites it and we've got feathers all over the place. The, you know, is it deadly to them? No, of course it's not, but they are gonna wind up pooping it out. Even with, with wand toys that have feathers on it, that's why I tell you, after you're done playing, pick it up, take it away. This is 100% in your cat's intestines, which again, not the end of the world, but could be a problem, uh, one never knows. They don't have those little beady eyeballs that can come out, so that's good. These 27 mice are gonna wind up under your fridge anyway, so for however good they are, for however long they are, that's, that's wonderful. Um, at the risk of completely overloading you, Casper. Here we go, it's a shmore, he's like, is it food? Is it food? Is it food? No, it's mice! He goes for the one that looks like it might have food in it. So to be fair, if this was the first thing out of the box today, I think he, he would have gone for it. <laughs> you just want food, huh? You just want food. If you want to have some fun with this, uh, you take this, take a whole bunch of catnip that's in a, you know, like a jar, and marinate these guys, man. You put it in there, shake it up, and let it hang out there in a few, for a few days. Use Jackson Galaxy Organic US grown catnip. Just saying, good time for your cats, made even better, especially since a lot of these guys are completely porous, so that helps to hold on to the nip or the silver vine or whatever. All right, the Amazon hit parade continues. The next thing I ordered was, ooh, it's the Smarty Cat Dazzle Unicorn Crinkle Plush Catnip Cat Toy. Yeah, the Dazzle Unicorn. This says it has catnip in it. I don't smell nothing. Again, in the, in the land of dangerous stuff that you don't want your cats to ingest, we've already talked about feathers. It's this thing that I hate, and so many toys have ribbons on them, guys. Because if your cat, oh no, no, let's say when your cat decides to rip this off of this unicorn, and then they actually uh, swallow this, look at that, look at how long that is. And if you don't think your cat's gonna eat that, or if you have multiple cats, at least one of your cats is not gonna eat this, I guarantee you, you're either heading into the ER because it's wrapped itself around uh, an intestine or something, or at the very least, you're going to be following your cat around for two days, waiting for them to poop this out. That is no fun, especially when it's just like the end of it and you gotta pull it out. I know, I'm creating a hell of a picture here and, and the unicorn's like, But you're ruining it. I am love itself. Anyway, um, before you give this to your version of Casper, just get rid of the ribbon. And by getting rid, throw it away, they'll find it. Now we have a naked unicorn and, hey buddy. What do you say? You know, once it gets to the point where his foot is more interesting than the toy, I just have to do this because I'm so curious as to whether there's actually catnip in here. Uh, no, this is a box cutter. Let's see. 
what's actually in here. We have some substance in here. I mean, this may have been catnip four years ago when it was packaged, but it is 100% dead. This gets packaged in China, even just the shipping alone, it's 90 days on the water. So take it with a grain of salt. I mean, you pick up that Yao banana, you smell it, you smell catnip from a mile away. This smells like a disappointing unicorn. <laughs> He's like, you're a disappointing unicorn. Yep, I agree. We are on to this five pack here by Legend Dog. My God. This has over 20,000 reviews on Amazon. Comes in right under 10 bucks, there's five of them, and basically they're supposed to be kickers. I've got some issues with this. I mean, the fabric is fine, it's good, it's cute. You know, there's five of them, which is fine. From a catnip perspective, mm, you know, this ain't no Yao Banana, let's put it that way. Uh, it's, it's a little sort of dead. Here's the thing that I find a little misleading. If you look at the picture on the page on Amazon, uh, they put kittens in there. So it basically just messes with the sort of perspective of the toy. These are little toys. I mean, in comparison, take a look at my kicker. This is one of the Jackson Galaxy kickers. That's a proper kicker right there. As a maker of a kicker and a connoisseur of kickers, uh, I'd want them to be tightly packed so it really can be kicked properly and this is just awful mushy. Again, for under 10 bucks for five of these, go for it. But let's. Just Let's see what Casper says about these kickers. Here you go. Nice catch. Like I said before, I like the, the material of it, but it's really small and it's really not the most potent of catnips. Also, don't forget this, folks, that once you present your cat with catnip, they actually become kind of immune to it for the next couple hours. So he's not gonna have the kind of response. And we kind of spoiled him with the yow, too, so. All right, so for our next entrant is one that I think I've talked about before, and the fact that I get to hold one in my hands and tell you how deviously horrible this toy is, now I get to. Two-in-one wearable automatic cat toy with LED lights. It's a collar, folks. It's a laser pointer in a collar. And, and that happens right there. And I bet you there's a couple of, oh yeah, there's the, uh, the blinky one right there. And uh, whoever invented this, clearly a dog person, uh, or a sadist or both. So you put this around your cat's neck, and then they wear it, and then you turn it on, and it's the cat toy that they can't catch, and they can't escape. <laughs> so as long as it's on them, it's like the carrot and the stick. You're never gonna get to it, and it's always gonna be right there. Yeah. Oh, and Casper? Ah, uh, psych. So this one I'm kind of actually kind of psyched about. So uh, here in the top 10, we've got a, the Ayersa cat toy ball luncher gun, cat fetch toy gun shooter, plush ball shooting gun, 20 pieces of pom pom balls. It's also really funny because uh, the cat in the picture is wearing a necklace of these balls, which I do not recommend we try at home. But um, I think maybe I'm just excited about it because it reminds me of like my childhood here. And now I think if it reminds me of my childhood, let's see if it works the same way. Yeah, you just put one of these pom poms in and then you launch it. That was a shot. So remember, don't launch it at your cat because that actually came out at some velocity. Um, let's just see if what happens when we shoot it this way. Ow. It's still, it gets some distance, man. It, it, this is not for every cat. I'll just say that. I mean, listen, that's loud uh, for one. And, and like I said, it comes out at velocity, but it's still kind of fun. All right, greenhorn. <laughs> what, I, but anyway. Uh, only 102 ratings, but that, again, is because there's 40 companies that make this. Uh, they all come from the same factory, so don't worry about it. And, uh, yeah, let's see what he thinks. I mean, if he doesn't see it happening, then... Oh, it didn't count. Ready? Oh, he's getting straight up lazy now. And now we come to one of, this is like the original. You think of cat toy and you think about interactive cat toy, this bad boy comes up in my head, number one. It's this thing, the cat dancer. It's a wire with cardboard and it's great. And I would always have a few of these around the house. It's unpredictable. You know, the cat will go for it and they'll chew this cardboard off. Go on over to the Jackson Galaxy store. Forget about Amazon, man. Go on to the Jackson Galaxy store, get yourself one of these. And also the same company makes the Cat Charmer, which is a different type of interactive toy. But again, one that's like a surefire hit with at least one of the cats in your home. So yay for the cat dancer, under five bucks. You know, instant interactivity. 
And to prove my point, uh, Casper, what do you say? Let's see if you like this. Oh, I told you guys, it is instantaneous. It is a miracle. And it was literally somebody sitting in their house one day and going, okay, here's a coat hanger and a piece of, go, go knock yourself out. Now remember, I would totally recommend that you guys pick this up when you're not playing because that cardboard is history once Casper or anyone else starts to chomp on it. All right, let's see what else Amazon Kloss brought us. All right, so this is a snake toy. Cat Toys Snake Interactive Realistic Simulation Smart Sensing Snake USB Rechargeable. Uh, okay, whatever. This goes in, this goes in. And I've actually tried this one before, um, and I'll tell you why they are really hit or miss. There you go, there's the snake. Um, once you turn it on, and they are USB rechargeable, there's the little, well, and I, I don't know that it's gonna, oh, look, the tongue goes. And it's on wheels, so uh, once we put it on the ground, although I can almost guarantee you it's not gonna work on carpet, because these wheels are just lame. Um, but yeah, it'll snake along, and I will tell you what the experience was in my house. Uh, the experience was this thing goes across the floor, uh, and the cats watch it like this, and then it hits something, and it either or it goes under something. It says it automatically senses things and moves the other direction. Sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't. But at the end of the day, there's nothing to grab. There's nothing to bite. It's just a hard plastic. So just like with the cat stages or anything like that, it loses its luster pretty quickly. Let's see what uh, our boy Casper thinks. But like I said, it's on a rug, so I'm having my doubts. We'll see. By and large, you guys, these toys with wheels on it don't move on carpet. Just to give it a fair shake. Do we have anything here that we can put this down on? Gasper. I mean, it does move snakishly. And that's usually what I would expect. Remember, one of the things about, about these toys are that they move pretty cool. But because they have no scent and there's no way to sort of mark them or anything like that, that's usually what it comes down to. And if you haven't seen my, my video on puzzle toys, right up there, take a look. Every cat should have at least one puzzle toy in the house. And of course I recommend many so that they don't get bored with it. But here is Buggin' Out. And Buggin' Out is, uh, and thankfully high on the list here at Amazon. And the way this thing works, treat goes in here, move this guy around, or they have the little leaves that go here, and that way you can mix it up. You know, are they gonna go for the leaf or are they gonna move the thing? Sometimes like the leaf is like is like the kindergarten version of Puzzle Toy, just like, like that, and there it is. These are a little harder, so which is great. So that way it accommodates higher learning. I usually like this. I will say though, that I discovered sort of the fatal flaw in this thing, not fatal, but it's a pain in the butt flaw, which is that you have two distinct pieces of plastic here, uh, top and bottom, and the treats get 100% stuck in between these things. So you wind up, before you throw it in the dishwasher, with a butter knife, like trying to carve out the little pieces of treat. It's a pain in the butt, but it doesn't negate the fact that um, these toys or things like them are amazing for you to have in your home. I absolutely advocate for puzzle toys, like, and not just one. So get this one, get a, a number of others as well, and let your cats work for the food a little bit, and use their brains while they're using their mouths. The boy in the room who likes food more than I do or anybody else, Casper is going to demonstrate how to get toys out of here, and I guarantee you in record time, because honestly, I've never seen, and really, all respect to you, a more treat-motivated cat than, than Casper, so let's, let's watch. Let's see, solve the puzzle, solve the puzzle. There we go, all right, good boy. Now let's see if he finds the other one. So this will keep him busy. For a treat-motivated cat like Casper, he's gonna keep at it until he finds it. Good boy. Look at how smart you are. Everything that I just uh, unboxed and reviewed with the exception of our friend, the cat. Here, um, came in under 75 bucks for all that. So 
No matter what my review was on these things, it doesn't matter. These are all investments that you make in your cat. Pom pom balls and little stuffed mice and cat dancers and, and you know, all of those things. They are investments in your cat. Variety is the spice of life. Like I said about the cat stages, put it down, pick it up after a little bit, put it in the closet, bring it back out in a month and it's like, ooh, it's a brand new thing. Um, like I say about all toys, don't make this one box with toys in it that sit around the house that your cats then can pick out if they want to and put back. You do it. Pick it up after a while. Put it in a drawer, then put it out later on. So there's that a little bit, even with these sort of independent toys, at least you've got like them looking to you for something. And that is always worth something. So anyway, if you guys have a toy at home that you bought that uh, you want me to review, just let us know in the comments below. And who knows, maybe I will actually go and do the same thing with the toy you want me to see. And also don't forget that for all the best toys, go to the Jackson Galaxy website because I actually do go through everything that's on there and say, yeah, we can carry that or no, that collar with a laser on it is terrible and should be burned. You know, So it, it is all either made by me or curated by me. So go check that out. And, uh, and like I said, let us know what you think. And uh, if you want us to go back in Amazon and look at the next top 10 toys, it ain't bad. And now we're going to watch uh, Casper reject all these toys and play in the box. And that's the bonus, 75 bucks, and it still comes with a box on top of all that. On behalf of me and Oscar and Amazon, who makes all the money, uh, all light and all love, and all mojo to you, go play with your cat. Who's Oscar? Who's Oscar? Did I say Oscar? Yeah. <laughs> Who's Oscar? So on behalf of me and Casper and Amazon, who makes all the money off this anyway, and thank you for the box, Amazon, uh, go play with your cat. Light, love, and mojo to you guys. And then I will just wait for them to show up and I'll show you what I got. Oh, I know. I had to react to the doorbell first. Okay. All right. Here we go. Another potato chip. Yeah. Meow.